All right, so I'm going to preface this video by saying um, this is obviously a controversial topic. People pick one side. They're very one-sided. A lot of people are very arrogant and ignorant to fact instead of, you know, actually looking at field studies, what people have seen, and they'll just stick with what they think is right. So before I go into this, if you're going to watch this video, first of all, you should be educated in bow hunting and understand the basics at the very least if you don't as I'm talking research what I'm talking about <clears throat> so you can understand it but other than that I'm not gonna baby explain anything in this video I'm gonna be as quick as possible so what I'm obviously talking about is fixed versus mechanical broadheads it's like one of the biggest argued topics ever in bow hunting ever since mechanicals were created um, which by the way they were created not as to be a marketable broadhead but they were created as a concept just to see what if it could work and they actually weren't crazy about it and then other brands decided to market it and start making them so that's a fun fact the other fun fact is i'll say real quick before i start is um i have bought one pack of really nice high-end expensive mechanicals that were um some people have flaming reviews on them supposed to be the, some of the most durable some of the best for light some of the best everything and they disperformed and they all broke on my test which i've never had a single other broadhead do the worst i've seen is these the muzzies I, and that's because they're not cut on contact. They got this stupid fucking Tarkov kip. And uh, the worst I saw with this is one of the blades bent and it had a little chipping. That's as worst as I've seen. So the fact that the mechanicals would straight up explode, shatter, and break, and bend all every single time on low, um, low force impacts. Like, you know, like um, two of these for a ribbon pact. Two of these wooden sheet boards. All of the other broadheads, even single, uh, double bevel, doesn't matter were able to go through that without taking damage. Um, the mechanicals would break. That is a red flag, because that means if you're hitting any kind of bone, you're fucked. That's not okay. Um, like, here, on my channel, there's a video already before this one where I test all my broadheads that I've been buy bought and stuff over tw this year. And um, the main, one of the biggest tests I do is bone tests. So I start with, like I said, quarter inch plywood and then I move up to five la four layers of this and a layer of half inch and that simulates like multiple layers other sides and just a lot of bone impact and um, again mechanicals explode on that don't ever make it through all my other broads has, are able to make that through, at least through three or four layers and the tontos and the um, single bevels all go straight through without even it losing that much kinetic energy and then the last test is a solid two piece, uh, solid piece of two inch hardwood, which is like a little piece, and you can see it in the video. Um, the single bevels that one that were the last things to be done that way, and wow, it was, it's in, it's insane what these things can do. Um, you know, they'll just take that two inch piece of hardwood and split it with only losing about fifteen percent of the kinetic energy. So in the video, you can see it just instantly, they're gone on both sides. Um, so that should just be a, a, um, an obvious thing to think about because when you shoot the mechanicals at that same piece of wood, they stick in about mm, that far maybe and break off every single part of them. Seriously, the blades fly in everywhere. So if they ever hit a shoulder, femur, anything hard on that deer or whatever you're shooting, you can say goodbye to penetration. You're just torturing the animal at that point. Not to mention the fact the mechanicals only have about a 60 to 80 percent chance of deploying and if you want to argue that then you're an idiot that's just what the numbers are that is what hundreds of people's tests including my own have shown there's no arguing that that is what is it what it is they have a 60 to 80 percent chance commonly to deploy which means if they don't deploy you're shooting that animal with a field tip which is extremely illegal and disgusting behavior if you understand the efficacy of bow hunting. That is the last thing you should ever, ever, ever do. Yet people are doing it because they think mechanicals are so cool. It's new, it's different, the, the, the blades move, it's, it must be better, but that's just straight up a lie. When it comes to actual physical real world testing, they suck. They don't break bone, they can't penetrate through bone, they can't penetrate through very thick shields either, so good luck killing a pig with them without getting like the most expensive, hard shit you have to get just to do it when you could buy something like this. They're unethical. That's the, that's the main point, and I'm not going to go over every single thing wrong with them. These are just kind of like the main things I've found with them. Um, 
And then there's, of course, certain myths and stuff, like the myth that they're more accurate than the uh, solids. That's straight up a lie. All broadheads fly the same. This broadhead, giant, two inches wide, three inches long, flies the same as a field point does. What? Oh wait, it's because it has to do with your arrow's tuning and your bow's tuning. It has nothing to do with what's in the front of the arrow. Just because it's like this doesn't mean it's going to affect the airflow or flight whatsoever. And if you think that, you obviously haven't done any type of research, which I'm not trying to hard on you for, but I also am, because if you're going to go and hunt and be ethical, you better do some research instead of just torturing animals, you fucking psychopath. So, let's get on to the fact. Anyone who's done actual research will tell you that mechanicals are less ethical. That's just it. They sometimes don't deploy, they can't break through bone, there's no accuracy difference. That myth has been the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Um, there's just almost no reason to use them unless you really want to take a risk. Because the only shot you can take ethically with those is a broadside shot. If you're taking any other kind of quartering shot when there's bone involved, you're not going to make the penetration. You're not going to get a pass through whatsoever. You're rarely going to get a pass through anyway because here's the other thing. Most people that use mechanicals also don't build their own arrows. They just buy some cheap 400 grain, 300 grain uh, at the very most. Like, mostly don't. I've mostly seen people use four and f even 500, which is absolutely not okay. They're using zippy little lightweight arrows. They don't put any weight in the front. They're not trying to add a FOC whatsoever. They probably have straight up like 40% like shit FOC. So they're going to have horrible arrow flight they're going to get zero penetration and since they're so lightweight maybe being a 480 grains total weight of an arrow it's gonna lose its fucking kinetic energy like that a 600 grain arrow is gonna be like a train it's gonna continue and pass through the animal and then while your zippy 400 air grain arrow is gonna hit a bone and stop completely and then got deer is gonna run away and live another year so I know I'm getting heated, but it's because it pisses me off that people even think it's okay to use shit like that. There is no excuse to be less ethical, unless you just want to make yourself have a harder time or hurt the animal for fun. So, take that into mind. This is not opinion. This is fact. This is from hundreds of case studies, hundreds of universal studies, studies from even more people who are just hunters and want to know these things. My own studies and tests I've done in field, they don't perform. So, I'm going to stop going on. It's already been eight minutes of me talking about this. Um, I think you get the point. You should do more research if you're using mechanicals, and if you're not, and maybe you're just thinking about trying them, really do some research, because... You just you're having too many variables if you want to have that many variables to go wrong That's your choice. And I'm just repeating myself now, so I'm gonna shut up <laughs> um, But that's basically it if you're using a mechanical you should really think about switching to some actual You know a man's broadhead you shooting little baby toys You're not killing anything and if you are killing stuff you're having to wait for the perfect shot opportunity because you can't hurt tip bone because that arrow is going to stop. That's literally your decision. You could have a setup that could go straight through that and you're choosing to instead use a zippy little kid arrow with a little kid broadhead on it that someone designed as a joke. Mechanicals are not ethical broadheads. That's what I'm trying to get across. That's really it. I don't want people to get all mad but you really should understand that just by looking at research it's not rocket science unless you're a fucking southern bumpkin idiot who doesn't understand what the word research means go do some right now whoever you are even if you already are using better broadhead setups you should still do more research go look up at the ed ashby study it's one of the biggest most important studies in all of art all of archery and bow hunting in general um, and a lot of bow hunters don't know what it is, so it's it's weird because like you could actually be using the right setup and you're not. You're choosing to use a shittier setup. You're choosing to make life harder on yourself and make more painful, possibly non-lethal shots on an animal that doesn't deserve that.
because you wanted to... It, it, it's very much a thing of ignorance, arrogance, and wanting to stick with what you like. So, I don't want to see anyone in the comments bitching about how their mechanicals are the best thing in the world. I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm tired of seeing it. No one cares about you, the fact that you killed two deer with the mechanical and they must be good. Because guess what? I bet those shots were not shoulder shots. I want you to, next time you go hunting, wait till it's quartering towards, hit them right in the shoulder and see what happens to your mechanical. It's going to shred up, get destroyed, and it's not going to kill the deer, and then you're going to be at fault. So, just, that's it. I'm done. That's the end of this video. Um, this is not a fun video for me. It was just dumb. I feel like people should already understand this, but apparently they don't. I've been seeing so many fucking comments about it. Um, like people saying, yeah, fixed blades are like caveman stuff. Go to the modern era. When the fact is, this is the modern era. Cavemen didn't have this kind of shit. Cavemen didn't have these amazing quality steel single bevel broadheads that had more capability than any other broadhead on the market. That's field testing. They are the best of the best. Um... And you can't argue it. You can't tell me I'm wrong because that's what testing shows. That's how it came out. If you think that because it says your mechanical is going to be better on paper, it's going to be better in real life, then you need to do some tests yourself and see the difference visually. And I bet you you're going to want to make the change after. And if not, then you're just arrogant. So, yeah, that's the end of this video. I'm done ranting about this shit. Um... Much love, everybody. Stay lifted and lucky hunting, and make the switch.